All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of the YD2S Plus build, and it's going to be a little weird because I'm not going to be putting high-end components into this frame. I'm actually going to do some what are considered lower-tech um, components by some, but um, by others they say, hey, this stuff is made in the same factory as some of the higher-end stuff. So we'll, we're going to find that out. Uh, I'll let you guys know exactly what we're going to be placing in. We'll start off, number one, with the steering servo, which is made by Trackstar. Let me go ahead and open this up. This is my first time opening it up. This is called the TSD99X Trackstar Servo. This was rated as a drift servo, uh, so um, this is a standard servo, and um, I believe it has metal gears and ball bearings and all that good stuff. I'm just going to use a standard plastic... Um, I'm just going to use a standard plastic... I'm mean, going to just use a standard plastic servo horn at this point. I'll probably upgrade that to metal at, at uh, another point. Okay, voltage is 4.8 to 6 volts. Speed is 0 0.09 seconds at 4.8 volts and 0 0.08 seconds at 6 volts. So not a big difference there. Uh, torque is 8 kilograms at 4.8 volts and 10 kilograms at 6 volts. Size is 40 millimeters by 20 millimeters by 25.5 millimeters and the weight is 45 gears it's a coreless motor on it um, gear train is titanium the ball bearings are dual ball bearings and the type is a digital so it is a digital servo hopefully this will play well with my gyro that i have um, i'm going to bring off of my son's car and we'll put it on this as well which is the onsinki i don't know if i'm saying that correctly but it's oneski onsinki something like that all right so we'll see that in just a moment uh, as far as the electronic powertrain goes, uh, this is uh, a Trackstar 80 amp ESC. It's got a fan on the top and some capacitors here, three motor wires here, and my my power lead, and an on-off switch, and a, a, a servo cable here, obviously. Now, um, I've used this in my previous YD2. It actually did a really good job. I have a program box for it. You can program in your turbo um, as well. So. Uh, let me uh, see what this is going to be paired to. This is the Trackstar 540 10 scale drift motor. It says a 10.5. You can get it in many different configurations. So let's just take a look at what this looks like here. And this is what it looks like here. Really a pretty nice looking motor. I mean, there's a lot of machining that goes along with this, this housing here. Here's the front. And I have to tell you, this looks exactly like a lot of the motors that I've seen for uh, drifting. Yeah, guys, so let's just take a quick peek at what else comes in the box. It comes with a sensor cable, which is really nice because not all motors come with sensor cables. It's kind of a funny thing I've learned as I've gone along with the drift uh, and uh, the motors and the ESCs. Some ESCs come with them, some don't. Some motors come with them, some don't. This is quite a long ESC cable. I may have a shorter one to use or I'll coil this one up because the motor and the ESC are going to be pretty close to each other, like here and here on the YD2S build. So I have my two uh, motor screws that are left um, from the build here that I'm going to be using, as well as my stock pinion. I believe this is like a 20 or something like that. I'll have to cut the teeth for you guys in just a moment. So those are the main components that we're going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and put these in and uh, try it out with my radio, and we'll see uh, how everything goes. Okay guys, um, I actually forgot that I didn't have a receiver for my other radio, so I'm actually stealing my son's radio, the MXV from Sanwa, and the receiver, and also the, the gyro here. So my idea here is to actually place my gyro on top of the servo. I know it's going to sound a little weird, but a lot of guys do this. 
Um, I'm going to have the receiver right down here. I'll probably have the antenna coming up right about here. And my um, ESC is going to be here so that I can uh, place the caps here. I can bring the uh, switch onto the top and also the signal wire down and beneath here. So that should be the way it's going to go. These, these uh, motor wires are going to basically run up here and right into the uh, A, B, and C of the motor wire area. It's going to look nice and clean, which is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to leave a little bit of extra slack in case I want to relocate my, um, my, yeah, my motor wire somewhere else. But I'm going to get the uh, soldering iron fired up here. We'll get everything wired up. guys got everything soldered up really nicely I'm gonna plug everything on in and see how everything is and make sure that I raise the back of the car as I plug in it in for the first time now this ESC was already tuned for my son's car so we might not have any problems with uh, things being plugged in correctly but we'll check out how the motor is if we need to reverse it or anything like that okay guys I have everything wired up the only thing I haven't done is I have not done a throttle calibration but let me go ahead and turn everything on here wanted to show you guys that I have the gyro working properly and also the throttle we have brake and also reverse which is kind of cool all right let's see and our gyro is working in the proper direction so I'm just gonna do a quick throttle calibration I'm gonna put on the body post uh, things and we'll take the car out and do a quick little uh, drive on it Okay guys, so let's just take a quick peek at the finished product. Uh, I don't have the body um, things that help, you know, not scratch the body by the body pins on yet because I just have been so excited to try this out. So um, let's just take a look at the front end here. The shock positions, uh, so good, so far so good. Um, I did need to extend out these eyelets here out from where the stock position was because as this would turn, it would actually hit on that little corner right there. So um that was probably something i was going to be doing anyway but just let's take a look at the uh, front aluminum shock mount it looks really nice we have a nice uh, amount of droop here in the front it's nice rebounds really nicely here is the track star uh servo that we put in it um quite nice actually it performs really really well the on ec car uh, oh, Oniski oh, uh, uh, servo. Um, I just have these uh, servo wires kind of packed in tightly behind here. What's really nice about this frame is that you can actually do a lot with the wire management. You can see that I've got my wire motor wires coming up here and just into this side of the motor so you don't have to bring it in from the other side. I have my sensor wire coming out of the motor down underneath and through that section right there because there's a nice gap there so it made it really nice even though it was a really long sensor wire it uh i was able to uh, attach this um to the motor wire so it doesn't get hung up into the gears here uh i just love this battery um remover you could just pull out your battery so easy it's really really nice so i really appreciate that i really hated taking out my battery um in my other car so 
Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll. Um, we have a competition coming up on the nineteenth of uh, December here. Maybe I'll run this car if it runs uh, good enough. But I'll have to see how consistent it is compared to my other, um, my other YD two EX. So let's take a look at the other side real quick. Um, got a nice bit of sag going here for the rear, and a nice bit of downward travel as well. You can see the shock positions. I have these shock collars almost all the way up to the top. Uh, but things are driving really, really nice. Now, when I'm driving downstairs uh, on that unfinished concrete, I basically put on some trash tires. Um, and things always run really well because there's tons of grip. So the real test is going to be when I take this to the track and I'm on a slipperier surface. <laughs> some tuning but uh, not bad for its first night out so uh, see you guys later bye what's up Matthew <laughs> guys uh, thank you once again for joining my channel I hope this helps anyone out with the build and um, just an overview of this great chassis I really think they put a lot of uh, hard work into this chassis I think it's definitely improved from the last one the big real test like I said is how it performs at the track so we'll see you there <laughs>